Hi everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video, I am going to explain. In the array, so whenever we are we are collecting a pair pair of elements, nothing but whenever you collect two elements, the two elements should generate the required sum. So what is that sum? Is required, right? How many pairs generate the required sum? So that we need to display all the pairs in the array so with one example suppose here we are taking one array just array we are taking directly like this directly we are taking and with some elements with some elements we are taking for example random elements 7 3 9 4 2 6 8 5 so we took like this. This is the array and it is pointing to this one and is index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the size is 8. Now we collected that required sum. We collect the required sum. It's something like we are taking, uh, we are taking 1, suppose. So we took 1 like this. Now here, so whenever we ask, just read the required sum means what? That sum we collected, collected, suppose required sum is a 10. How many pairs will generate the required sum? When compare with 7, yes, 7 plus 3 will generate. So 7 comma 3 is one pair. And next one here it is a 7, when compare with other things, no. And here it is when compare with a 3, and 3, 7 already is a pair. So, 7, 3 whenever you, you place, 3, 7 again we should not supposed to place. And we check with the remaining things, no. And next one when compare with this 9, here it is a 9 plus 1 is 1 sum. 9 comma 1. And next when compare with a 4, 4, 6. 4, 6. And next one he when compare with a 2, 2, 8. 2, 8. So these are the four pairs, suppose. And again here it is a 6, 4, 8, 2, 1, 9, 3, 7 is not allowed. Just unique pairs only. So 1, 9, 9, 1 is not allowed. Only 1, just 1, 9 like this. Right, how we display that pairs. Here we are repeating one loop. Just outer for loop we repeat. Outer for loop. How many times means what? Starts with 0 to 7, first to last. Here it is i value starts with 0 and i is less than less than that size minus 1 is it nothing but n and i plus plus i plus plus when the control come inside when the control come inside with i value 0 it will come inside now with this one with this one we need to compare everything everything so whenever it is there, now we should start this inner loop comparison with this one. It's nothing but for loop, j value starts with the i plus 1, j is less than n, just j plus plus, j plus plus. Nothing but here it is, it will come inside with a j value 1, not with a 0. Because 0 with 0 means what, it will compare itself, that is. That is a problem. So, we compare with that next element. So, here it is a 7 and here it is a value is a 3. Yes, true. We are taking one temp variable. Into the temp variable, we are storing what a of i value and a of j value. a of i we are storing and a of j we are storing. a of i value is what? 7. a of j value is a 3. 7 plus 3, 10. Yes, we found one sum. So, we are checking if some value what they entered equal to the temp what we check. If both are same, yes, we found. Just printf, printf like in this format, percentage d comma percentage d. That is, and we are writing, we are writing these two. 7 and 3 means what? Here we are displaying that a of i comma a of j. We are displaying like this if block for loop and for loop. 
after this one after executing this one now now it is checking j value become 2 j value become 2 right here it is a 7 and 9 it's not the pair and next one here it is a 7 and 4 it's not the pair 7 and 2 it's not the pair 7 and 6 it's not the pair 7 and 8 is not the pair 7 and 1 it's not the pair it's not the pair see so one thing whenever you found one pair pair next suppose if all are if all are unique elements if all are unique elements and sum is a 10 suppose consider 10 here here 7 comma 3 value is a 10 next next here it is a required sum is a 10 and the value is a 7 is a value element is a 3 second element should be 3 only there is no other option if remaining all the elements are unique elements means what is a never match sir suppose some somewhere if 3 is there just imagine if somewhere the 3 is there sir then what we should do here it is a 7 3 and 7 3 is the same pair only na? same pair only so so here it is a definitely no need to no need to continue with the remaining things so once you displayed in the if you can break this inner loop no problem you can break i think but remaining things it will not check remaining things break means what not outer loop break just only inner loop break when you found that is and next outer loop will repeat it will break suppose at one only it breaks now outer loop increases i value is what one so whenever i value one we should start with a two na? so j value starts with a two one two here it is a three nine it's not the pair so inner loop only will repeat this if block will not execute so break statement will not execute so j value become three three so three four nothing but one three one three means what three four fail and it will become four here it is a one four three two no next it will become five nothing but three six it will check no it fail next look at this here it is a 3, 8, no use. And here it is the next one is a 7, 7. And here it is a 3, 1, no, it fails. It fails, right? So here it is not matches. Then inner loop terminates. Now here it is i value become 2. i value become 2. And so that j value starts with a 3 because i plus 1. Now 9, 4. It will not give that 10. It will become 4. 9, 2. It will not match. It will become 5. 9, 6. It will not match. It will become 6. 9, 8. It will not match. And here it is a 9, 1, 1, 7. Yes, condition true. And this, this will print. Is nothing but 7, 3 is over. 9, 1 will print. And then it break. Nothing but inner loop only breaks. And next again, I value become 3. I value become 3. And here it is, it starts with a 4. 4. And 3, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. It's not 10. Next, it will become 5. See, look at this 4, 6 value is a 10. Whenever it matches, 4, 6 pair, whenever it matches, it will print and it will break. Nothing but inner loop will be terminated. No more repetitions. If you are not breaking, then what is the use? If you continue with the 8 and 1, 4 plus 8 and 4 plus 1 is no use. That's why we can break. And next one, here it is a finally, it will become 4. It will become 4. And here it is a J value become 5. Become 5. Here it is a 2, 6, no use. Next, it will become 6. Yes, 2, 8. Yes, it will. Is that last pair. And next, whenever it is executing, it will break. 7, it will not check. So like that remaining things also it will execute. But remaining next one anyway it will not continue. So that four pairs it will display exactly. This is the code that how to find out a pair of elements in the array generates the required sum. That required sum you have to you have to enter. That's all. Okay. Hope you understood. Such type of problems I am going to explain in the coming videos also. Here we are just taking only pair of elements. Sir, I don't need pair of elements. Whenever I give one required sum, 
required sum n number of elements you can take but it has to generate the required sum sir what are the elements just give okay such type of examples we'll see in the coming concepts hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narishati channel thank you